Good morning. Good morning, Cass. We got an uh, egg. Um, sorry. What's it called? Hash and, hash. hash and egg. Hash and egg. Hash it out. <laughs> hash it. Hash and egg. Corned beef hash. This is corned beef hash. <laughs> Ooh, I smell that Tabasco. Can I have some of that? Here you go. Thanks, look out. Oh, whoa. Why you gotta... <laughs> Why you always gotta have a scary face, huh? Is this what you and mommy do when you sleep with mommy in the bed? How long do you guys do this for? Four. For what? Minutes or hours? Hours. <laughs> hours. Just a couple times recently, I've let Juliana sleep in the bed with me in mommy's way. There's always this request for the iPad for some reason. Like, she's entitled to it when she's in this bed. Like, I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> so we're at the pool. Definitely need to hydrate. Another 105 degree weather. I think I could last five more minutes and I have to be back. Yeah. Five minutes. Get some lunch. That's sweat. That's not from the sweat. <laughs> oh, there's a raspberry. No, the raspberries. Away. Other end. The good ones. I came here years ago by myself to do a video for Benjamin TV. And it was at the end of the growing season. And he's like, yeah, go ahead. Just pick whatever. And he let me pick a whole bunch of raspberries for free. Fight the bees. See, there's a bee. Okay, B, I got it. I'm going. Uh, I think she likes them. Uh, I'm just guessing. These are the last of the raspberries, little one. Hey, they said the best ones are at the other end. Come on, let's go. All right, Kira, let me get you one. Is it good? Make sure it's all red, Juliana, like all a dart. Red. Yeah, yeah, that one. yeah, that's so cool. Kira, what happened hey, Kira. to your berries? Oh, she ate all her berries. She ate her box too. Oh no. Are you eating all your berries now? Yeah, kind of like you. Mabel, you could have them. Oh, thanks. Thanks for giving me the unripe one. No, we do, Kira. When we get it. Oh, you can put it in your box. One raspberry. And she's going to eat it right now. Okay, got what? <gasps> Lots of them. I wonder what to pick. Well, then you need to stop eating yours. What happened? What did you do? Show me. You ate all your berries! So this is what we ended up with. We probably actually picked about six of those. If you're gonna bring your kids to the berry patch, you won't leave with very many. So what's cool about buying honey from a farm like this, uh -oh, we're spilling a little bit. the flavors are supposed to mimic the flowers that are here at the farm. So, cause we're at this raspberry farm, it has a hint of raspberry. It is a little bit sweet. Do you kind of taste like these? <gasps> Ooh, dip one of these guys. That's what I said, Daddy. Mm. Let me. Let me get to have one. Mm. Want to try one? Mm. Raw honey. There's a difference. Um, we have honey at home. Oh. Can I just say how appreciative I am of hotels that have portable mirrors? Oh my gosh, thank you. Anyway, so the Backstreet Boys concert is tonight. It's gonna be at nine. It's actually pretty late. I hope we can stay up. I was reading the comments yesterday. I noticed that, and this is like a recurring thing. I just never talk about it because I feel like, why should I care about what other people think? But I just wanna say it because I never like addressed it. Like, it really hurts my feelings when I hear people say that Benji's not a good father or why is he, um, letting Mel like watch his kids or whatnot and it's like you guys have no idea like what I ooh, I better not start crying but what an amazing father he is this is oh Judy do not cry you're doing your makeup he is so invested in them 
bugs me when I see stuff that, like, he never hangs out with them or he doesn't watch them. Like, you guys have no idea. He doesn't vlog everything. There's times where he's, he will take care of them all night while I'm editing and he just doesn't vlog it. He is one of the greatest fathers that I know and he does a damn good job. Mel is amazing. She is the one of the best things that has happened to us as a family because, you know, Mel, like we talked to her about being our nanny when the twins, before the twins even came. And at the time, Mel was going to college and she, she was working a retail job, but she left her retail job to nanny for us. I never pictured Mel as the nanny type, to be honest, because she's never around kids. Like she, yeah, she's never been around kids. They don't have little cousins in their family. And it's not like she works at a school or anything. But fast forward, three and a half years later, Mel is amazing. She's like a second or third mom to the girls. And I'm so grateful for it because she's family. I'm so grateful. And the reason why I say second or third is because my mom is like the second mom to the girls too. I know a lot of people don't have that ability to have their kids be surrounded by family. So I'm just so grateful and blessed for it. But it just hurts me when when I read comments that I say hurtful things about the people I love. And I guess, yeah, and that's it. That's all I have to say. That's it. All right, ladies, what time is it? Grace with the time! We are gonna put some spinach in there. Blueberries today instead of uh, strawberries. Banana. Yeah. Yogurt. Yeah, what kind of yogurt though? Vanilla. Vanilla. They're and my favorite flavor. Yes, yes. And one of the best parts, wholesome whole milk. Yeah. And then, of course, we got some ice. <laughs> smoothie ladies. The smoothie girls. No, there was spinach in there. Drink it and tell me how you like it. Yeah. And guess what? It's it's very yeah 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 yeah. Hey, it's very healthy because there's spinach and spinach has lots of nutrients in it and it's very what? Sweet. No, spinach is very healthy. Healthy. It's good for the body. Do you guys want to be big and strong like mommy? No. Oh. I want a grown up like Juliana. Oh, you want to be a grown up like Juliana? Yeah. Listen to call So we're eating at a restaurant called Sugar Cane. My favorite so far is the avocado toast. We have mushrooms and then Japanese eggplant. Yes. That looks like a barbecue. It does. Oh. It smells so good. Oh, the beauty of Washington. That breeze, that sound. She insisted it. She have her bag. <laughs> oh, whoa! Good thing I held your hand there. <laughs> Tell me that ain't the cutest thing ever. And the kids are full of energy. Walk it out. I just want to tell you something. What? What does Rainbow Dash want to tell me? It's fast speed. Hey, I see a moon. Hey, we're gonna grab a cocktail at the Dorsey. Look, it's like a bird cage. You know what this reminds me of? Great Gatsby. It looks like Great Gatsby. <laughs> this is so romantic. That's right. For you and me. This is like the most romantic day. I know, I know. Like everything from the like strawberries it. to the champagne. This whole trip has been so romantic. It's so romantic. I wouldn't want to spend it with anybody else other than my beautiful cousin. I got, it's called the Harajuku because it has Japanese whiskey. Benji would love this. The cocktail server said it's similar to an old fashioned. And Kaz, you got King Kong, which has bourbon as well and some other stuff. Cheers. Cheers. Smash your voice tonight. To <laughs> BSB, that match needs that. All right. <laughs> Oh good, a couple left behind us. There's a couple behind us. We're probably like, what the? So the Backstreet Boys concert is like in an hour and a half. We still have to fix our hair. Look how crazy it is. Like, what's going on here? We're gonna rush back, fix our hair, jump into a cab, and hopefully we won't be late for the concert.
Cause you know, back streets, back alright! <laughs> me why ain't nothing but a heartache. I forgot my jeans that I was supposed to wear with this shirt. So I'm like trying on my black maxi dress. <laughs> I just look like a grandma right now, okay? Oh. Oh no, I'm not gonna buy People say I'm crazy and that I am blind Just it all in a glance Don't care what you did, who you did <laughs> We're gonna scare them <laughs>
Like I loved everything from like the dancers to just the interaction. I oh my god! Yeah. Like it was just Brian mostly. Though. Yeah, Brian was my so interactive with the fans. Everybody was into it, but Howie and really? Kevin were so over it. Like was it? Kevin was totally over it, but he was so he over was, it. But I feel like he's always been like that just because he's so mature. Yeah. Oh, he's the oldest. So. And then Howie. He just was like, he was pretty old. He looked pretty tired. <laughs> it was the last show of the month, so they're coming back again in November. It was so fun. Good like, time. Do do there was like one annoying girl. Oh, God. <laughs> she kept, oh, she God. kept going back and forth oh, in the front because we were right in the middle, so they would like. Anyway, she All you just see is this tiara going back and forth. She just like, kept going back and forth, like. Everyone to move, get out of her way when the like because she follows the backstreet boys when they're like at the front or backstage. And if they go to the side, other than that, it was, fun. It was a really so great fun. performance. And I, I highly recommend you guys check it out um, while they're here in November.